What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations. We're getting real close now. We proved that there is blood on the hot dog package, but it's not the victims. But we, the viewers and players, suspect that it is Alba's blood from the wound he received. So it's just a matter of presenting that at some point. Here we go. What do you mean? Allow me to describe you in one word, pitiful. Pitbull, how so? Curses! Your wings were clipped long ago. And for someone who is trying to fly away on them without noticing that fact. Pitiful is the perfect word to describe you. Ha! Mere words! What do you mean by his wings are clipped, Mr. Edgeworth? Just what you think it means, Kay. We had already caught him in our trap a while back. With an incredibly powerful, definitive piece of evidence. Hey, hey! Earth to Mr. P. Care to speak in English? What are you talking about? What piece of evidence? The piece I speak of is, of course, this drop of blood. But we know that it's not from the victim. I don't see how it remains relevant to the case at all. Miss Von Karma, I believe that is exactly why it's very important to the case. And the part that is the most important is the fact that it's not the victim's blood. You're looking a little pale. Good. Then I believe you're already aware of what I mean. Then you know who the blood belongs to. Of course I do. This piece of evidence is the irrefutable proof that will stop the killer in his tracks. The blood that soiled this box of samurai dogs belongs to this person. Oh, we know. This guy! No. Where is he? There he is. Take that. The blood of the rising sun on this box belongs to you, Corsus Alba. Why is his blood on the box of samurai dogs? He's not even a victim. The blood fell onto the box when Mr. Cochin's body was being loaded into the push cart. At that time, the only two people in the dressing room were the victim and his killer. So that's what you mean. If the blood doesn't belong to the victim, then there's only one other person it could belong to. Yes, and that person is the murderer himself. That's the only logical conclusion. But Mr. Cochin was the one who was stabbed, sir. Why would Mr. Alba have been the one who was bleeding? What if during the murder, Mr. Cochin had fought back? You mean, if before Mr. Alba could kill him, Mr. Cochin managed to wound Mr. Alba? Yes, and I believe we have a piece of evidence that proves that he was bleeding then. I don't remember what, but we, it's, it's, uh, right here. I don't remember what it's for, from, though. Oh, from Damask, right. Take that! Mr. Alba, you bear on your body a great wound. That was from when Damas II attacked me with a pair of scissors. Yeah, and that happened way after he was in the dressing room. Ah, but is that what really happened? You can manufacture a weapon by smearing blood on it, so I can't just accept that as fact. Shall we try a test, Mr. Alba, and see if the shape of your wound matches the scissors? Objection. You really are something else, Mr. Edgeworth. You don't let a single thing slip you by, no matter how insignificant the possibility. You're one to talk, Mr. Alba. You've managed to give the law the slip for ten years as the smuggling ring's leader. No matter the danger, you can hide every last ounce of fear and anxiety from everyone. You truly are a one-of-a-kind criminal. Objection. I am the master of my fear. But to think that a person such as you could miss such a large thing. You believe I've overlooked something. You said that my wound was caused by Mr. Cochin. And that it was caused here in one of the theater's dressing rooms, right? Yes, that's correct. I'd like to point out that it's simply not possible. My wound is a stab wound, and one that could only have come from a blade. I wonder where you will propose that such a weapon came from. This theater was packed with security guards. It would have been impossible for anyone to come into this area with a weapon of any sort. 
just as Mr. Alba was able to bring in the Alabastian knife in a bouquet. There must have been some other way to sneak in a weapon of some sort. Ah, but as long as you can't prove what that other way is. All your talk about Mr. Cochin stabbing me is pure nonsense. So if that other way does exist, you'd better hurry and tell me now. With pleasure. What? This piece of evidence shows us how Mr. Cochin brought a weapon into this theater. Now this, I'm not entirely sure on. Sure on. I mean, it, is it... Is it the statue? The fireplace? The money prince? Oh! Oh! Remember, uh, uh, we found the... We, uh, we found on Coton's body way long ago. We found out that uh, he had the key. Which is why we thought Yadagarasu was here to begin with. The Yadagarasu's key. The Keyblade. <laughs> the Keyblade? Ah! I said the Keyblade. Oh, <laughs> you can bet your butts when that game comes out. I'm, I'm let's playing that. I'm going to let's play the new Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to pl let's play the remake for Final Fantasy VII on PC and PS4. Probably not PC. PS4. I'm going to let's play oh, all these great games coming out. Let's play Final Fantasy XV. Persona 5, oh, the future. The future is bright. Among law enforcement, this piece is known as the Yadagarasu's key. That key? That's the key that my father stole from here seven years ago. And it is very unique in that it is both a key and a knife. Meaning that under the guise of a key, it could have been easily brought into the theater. You couldn't dispose of the knife that stabbed you. Therefore, you wiped off the blood and placed it back into Mr. Cochin's pocket. After all, the key itself opens the safe in his office. And inside that safe, there was a document about Codopian paper, signed by Mr. Cochin. In order to make it look like Mr. Cochin died as the leader of the smuggling ring, you had to make it so that the police were the ones that opened that office safe. All that hard work to save yourself only served to destroy you in the end. Shall we try matching this knife's blade with your wound, Mr. Cursus Alba? And that is what some may call the coup de grace. The coup de grace. Impossible. You can't take me down. Swine, all of you! Especially Manny Cochin! This is all because of that man's betrayal! He sought to steal control of the smuggling ring from me by removing me as ambassador! Which is why he deserved to die while bearing the guilt for all of my crimes for me! That's why I sent out the Yadagarasu's card, and how this incident was born! Manny was supposed to be the smuggling ring's leader who was killed by the Yadagarasu! But, I had... yet another reason! Yet another story that was supposed to play out. Manny's death was supposed to bring everything to a close. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Mr. Alba, I'm afraid there is one more question I forgot to ask. This country's, or Alabast's, which country's court would you like to face first? Either way, it's game over for you. It's we are. What is he? A rocket ship? Ew! Ew! March 17th, 1121 AM, District Court, Defend and Lobby number two, ha! Woo, this is it, the big day. It's Mr. Alba's trial today. And next week, he's scheduled to stand trial in his own country of Alabast. Francisca is heading that one. I suspect she'll be serving a full course of whiplashes at it. Having to face Miss Von Karma in court right after facing you, sir. <laughs> I don't even want to think of what that would be like. I caught a glimpse of Mr. Alba as he was being escorted into the courthouse. 
And boy, he looked about as glum as I do the day before I get my monthly paycheck. You know, I've been thinking. That flight attendant and even Mr. Portsman were all Mr. Alba's secret agents. Correct. That smuggling ring was the common thread between all the incidents. Cammy Meal was to provide support during the smuggling ops, using her job as attendant. And Mr. Portsman was to manipulate trials related to the ring to end in their favor. Ooh, I fly airlines and even the prosecutor's office. No one was safe from the smuggling ring, huh, sir? I suspect there are even more members of this ring spread throughout the world. Yeah, it sounds like such a big op that I can't even begin to imagine what it's like. What is it, Detective? Ah, nothing. It's just, well, come to think of it. Mr. Ernest Amano's trial is also scheduled for later today, sir. I'm aware of that. Mr. Amano has been working with the smuggling ring now for over 10 years. He used the Amano group's various connections worldwide to assist the ring. But all of that has come to an end, as this conglomerate is now undergoing harsh scrutiny. I owe Mr. Amano a debt of gratitude, but he must pay his debt to society. Well, with the arrest of both Mr. Alba and Mr. Amano, I guess that about wraps up the KG-8 incident as well, huh? I suppose so. The real killer in the KG-8 incident ten years ago was Manny Kochum. And seven years ago, the killer in the second KG-8 incident was Mackerel. Those two facts are an unshakable truth. It seems that a lot of effort was put into hiding these and other truths from us. And I will expose it all at trials, uh, trials today. You're solving cases left and right today, aren't you, sir? CCU and Dead Man. Perhaps now, these two brave souls who tried to make the truth known can rest in peace. By the way, I received some gifts from Ambassador Polano. Shrimp, crab, beef. I don't need any of these, so I'm giving them to you. What? Seriously, sir? Wait, actually, I don't think I want them anymore. The way you're holding them, don't tell me they're just coupons, sir. Detective Gumshoe, have you not read the paper recently? Ever since the two countries became Codopia again, its economy has changed. Really? And it seems that Ambassador Plano has re reaped a few benefits of his own from it. Reaped! <laughs> reaped! I said I pronounced reaped as reaped! That's so great. He has been announced as the official ambassador of the newly reunified Codopia. Ah, but what a pity. Even though every item he sent is a treasure, you don't seem all that interested. Well, if you don't want them, I can give them to my lovely assistant, Kay. Wait, that's not what I said, so, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, please let me have them, sir. Actually, come to think of it, where is Kay? How come she's still not here? Hey, you gotta be more alert than that. I can't believe you didn't notice. I was even mimicking Mr. Edgeworth's voice for a bit. I totally didn't notice you or realize that voice was you. Lang Shi says, ferocious love blooms with each new spring. Agent Lang, a pleasant surprise to see you here. It's been a long time since I set foot in a courthouse, but I wasn't going to miss watching the guy who screwed up my country finally get what's coming to him. Well, that and something else. I want to see you in action in court. Is that so, Agent Lang? We've flushed out all the counterfeit bills, so Shang Fa is finally at peace again. And it's all thanks to you, so I just want to say thanks. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day old Wolfie says thanks to Mr. Edgeworth. I should be the one thanking you, Agent Lang. If you hadn't negated Mr. Albo's extraterritorial rights, I would not have been able to bring him to trial. I believe the victory belongs to the both of us in this case. A shared victory, huh? Look, don't get me wrong. I'll still never forgive you, prosecutors. And I have zero interest in that truth thing you talk about in court. 
I've always done things my own way, and that's not about to change. You got that? I see. Well, I believe you should follow your own creed when you do your job. Yeah, and if there's ever someone you're precious, truth can't catch. Feel free to sit around and cry about it all you want. But as for me, I'm gonna get that person no matter what. Alright. It's about time for the trial to start. I'll see you later. I'll be watching your performance from the gallery. I'm looking forward to this. I prepared a whole ton of ticker tape for today's victory, sir. I'll help throw some around when Mr. Edgeworth wins. Ha <laughs> ha! I hope you've got enough because I'm gonna go call my men up as well. A modest amount of ticker tape goes a long way. The scene shifts to the courtroom and the final act of this long tale begins. The legend of the great thief Yadagorasu. It's the story of those who chose to dedicate their lives to the pursuits of the truth. Prosecutors are those who seek a guilty verdict for the defendants they meet. And to that end, you have no choice but to win by any means necessary. That creed was forced on me since I was very young. I no longer think that is all we prosecutors are. And that is because... Even though I've only been away from the courtroom for a short time, I feel as though it's been a lifetime since I've set foot in one. And today, more than any other day, I feel the fight within me rising. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the credits! We did it! We beat the game at like a hundred videos! Hoo-ha! But you know what? It only really feels like we're halfway through because after this, I'm really in Mr. Edgeworth's debt for the other day. Thanks to him, I'm still free to serve uh, in the friendly blue skies. Oh, so about my suitcases. I've been selling them on the internet and they've become a real sensation. Thanks to the praise the art world has lavished on my work as being truly postmodern. And the airline has chosen me to design their new line of iFly Jumbo Jets. Just think, someday you will be able to take a ride at my pink walled yellow seated jet. Oh, well, what I was saying before, because now we've got the second game to play, which... Oh, okay, all, all this, all this stuff going on. Hold on a minute. God, I don't miss this guy at all. Edgeworth? Oh, that rudeness of a rude man. Because of him, my time and money is wasted. But more importantly, -er, I received a most fantastic treasure recently. The Prima Duck statue of the Principality of Kodomia. It waits, it waits a bit light in my hands, but the Ambassador Plano was most generous. But we got the sequel coming up, and if everything's done right, hopefully it'll be out by next Monday. Next Monday I should, theoretically, have the first part of the second game, the sequel, out. We finally caught Agent Hicks's killer, and I was able to witness something something. It feels good to finally bring everything to a close. I received another offer from Interpol to work another case in cooperation with them. But the Codopian courts await. Codopia's air is supposed to be very fresh, so my whip should find new vigor there. And what was different about this game compared to a typical Ace Attorney game is that the scale seemed much grander because this involved in multiple nations, which is pretty rare for an Ace Attorney game. Usually they don't mention too many other, other countries. This little patrolman has been fired as of today, sir. I thought it was safe since we found the gun I dropped. But I hadn't noticed that I dropped my police badge too. I guess what really broke the camel's back was that I couldn't find my badge. My little life has suddenly tripped into a dark black hole, sir. I think I'll go to the courthouse and file a complaint with Ruffles, man. My favorite villain, though, honestly, out of everyone, is definitely you. Something about the whole secret, secret thief, but also tricky and cunning. I don't know, that's, that's my bag. I was actually hoping to- oh, I lost it. But I gotta get going and return to Europe. 
I still got a long way to go and a lot of stuff to study there. Next time I help Mr. Edgeworth on a case, I'm gonna do it as a real forensic scientist. I'm sure he's gonna need all the help I can give him, scientifically. Why would they not make these canon? It doesn't interfere with it, it's good. They should have just done, you know, what, uh... What Square Enix did with Kingdom Hearts. Make a trillion games and just say it's all canon. Or Persona with, uh, stuff like, um... Uh, Persona Q, making that canon. You know, I, I even think Persona Dancing All Night is supposed to be canon, which is absolutely ridiculous. I might be wrong. But I might be going, oh, what, what are you saying now? The only prison I'm forever trapped in is this cage of love. The guard down at the detention center. Well, what he's on guard duty. He has such a cold look in his eyes, just like that prosecutor. But dump. Oh, stop it, Lauren. When will you ever learn to stop being a prisoner of love? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. How long are these credits? Also, do you guys think they're ever they're gonna ever actually have an official Eng English release uh, localization for the sequel? It appears there are all sorts of drama that takes place outside the courtroom. Since we judges are here day in and day out, I've only heard a few rumors, but. Apparently, Mr. Edgeworth teamed up with a thief and became a detective. Maybe I should team up with a bailiff and try to become a lawyer or something. That would be... that would... no. Don't do that. You'd be awful at it. I barely escaped death yet again. Yeah, but boy, were we lucky to have Mr. Edgeworth help us out, huh? Yeah, but because I lost the key, I got fired from my security guard job. Don't let it get you down, Maggie. You still got me. You're right, sir. I won't be sad. I'm gonna pick myself up and get through this. I wonder what my next job should be. Ooh, is this actually... Oh, this is actually kind of fun. That's a really small team. Did you guys see that? It's like localization team, three people, and then two people in management. No wonder these always take so long. Why not come to Kodopia for your summer vacation? We have coupons aplenty. Right now, our embassy is proud to present our Let's Investigate a Murder Show. Although recreating that particular case has created a few small fires of its own. Then we had a few problems with the fire marshals, but the next event will be great. It will be an attraction entitled, Capture the Yadagarasu. Of course, I hope to enlist Kay's help in creating our latest attraction. Why so many QA people? I can't believe that Mindy ditched me and went to Japan. But it's okay, because that's how I met Miharu. We're planning to go to Paris soon and start a business. That sounds exciting. We're gonna sell blue ocean dogs. They'll sell like hot cake hot dogs for sure. A blue hot dog and a blue bun. I guarantee it'll turn your tongue and your face blue. I know I'm not really the type to work a lot or at all really, but... Oh, so I noticed that I really haven't seen the guy in the blue suit at all recently. I wonder what's up. Well, the next time we meet, I'm gonna make him eat one of my dogs. Are they not allowed to say his name, or...? Maybe they're not al No, that'd be weird, but they haven't said Phoenix once in this whole game. They just refer to him. What's up with that? Today, I gave testimony in court today, as a member of the Adigarasu. Yo, Mr. Bad. You look well, all things considered. By the way, have you noticed that elements within the ring have begun moving? They're probably fighting over who should succeed. Over who should be the next boss. Although, to be honest, I wish I could forget I'd ever heard of that smuggling ring. 
Like she says, thoroughly bite the poisonous snake from head to tail. No one runs afoul of the law and escapes. This wolf's fangs. I'll get you all yet. Ah, youth. When did I become so old, I wonder? I begun noticing the gray hairs in my beard more. I'm thinking of retiring my mirror. And I wonder how many of these characters are going to be in the sequel. I'm guessing most of them? Probably. I was the pink princess and the pink badger all in the span of two days. Talk about busy. But it's all right because I got a letter from my beloved edgy poop. Please take care of your hip. And when you wish to speak, first take off your headpiece. What does he mean by that last statement? It's not like I enjoy being under headpiece every time I see him. I bet, okay, dear lord. Right. All that. March 17. Woo! I feel so much better now that the trial's over. And as always, your legal prowess was top-notch, sir. Yeah, nothing beat the look on Mr. Alba's face when you re re revealed the ring secrets. I was amazed. You're like a totally different person when you step into a courtroom. Mr. Edgeworth is always ten times fiercer in court. Based on the information Mr. Alba offered up, they've begun large-scale operations to clean up the rest of the ring, which I'm happy to leave to Francisca and Agent Lang. So what are your plans now, Kay? Oh, well, we've taken care of the creep who killed my father, so I'm not sure. Hey, I know. Maybe I'll just keep on being Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Are you still trying to steal my job, pal? Just kidding. I can't steal something so important to you, gummy. Whew, what a relief. Okay. Yes? Even after all that's happened, are you still planning to become a great thief? Of course. But I don't want to tarnish the legend of the noble Yadagarasu. So I'm gonna hold off on doing anything until I make a tight three-person team of my own. A three-person team? A three-person team of young beauties the same age as me, if possible. With those criteria, I highly doubt you'll find the two other people you need. My father chose to fight for the truth. I think that's what was so noble about him. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, the only things I will ever steal are the truths that have been hidden away. I'm gonna work extra hard to make a world where the Yadagarasu isn't needed. Let's both strive for such a future. Well, I guess it's time for me to get going. I see. Okay, keep your chin up and stay strong, okay? And don't be a stranger. Don't worry, I'll be back, and I'll be sure to break the lock on the window and sneak in. If you could, I'd appreciate it if you came in through the building's front door. It's okay, Mr. Edgeworth. The lock on my window at home has been broken for forever. Oh, one last thing before I go. Let's take a group picture, just the three of us. Yeah, a commemorative photo. Every big case has to end with one. No! Why not? Don't tell me you're camera shy, Mr. Edgeworth. Of course not, detective. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm taking the picture now. Come back here. You can't run away from this. Ah, uh, I bet Gumshoe gives the best bear hugs. I can't be seen doing that. Would you just take it already? And thus, the long tale of the KG-8 incident came to a close. I saw the demise of a smuggling ring and the birth of a little great thief. But there is little time to rest and relax. For I am eager to tackle the investigation into a new case. The reason for my eagerness is... 
my want to pursue the truth, and... My want to believe in the strength of those who use the power of the law for good. As someone who has chosen to live my life as a prosecutor. That is my new creed. I always love these little photos. That's it? Well then, I think I've already got said most of the things I need to say for next week, uh, earlier during the credit scene. So, let's just end it then. So until then, bye-bye!